Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of TMI 365. Today's lesson, I'm going to show you the evaluation lab and simulations within Defender for Endpoint. Really glad Microsoft set this up within this portal because if you're new to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, it really gives you a great way to understand how they're triaging alerts and correlating them to incidents here. And it allows you to do a deep analysis on a device without actually having to have a real life event occur. So it gives you a little bit of a training session, but it also can mimic some of the common techniques that have been used in the past, like the solar winds attack that we saw previously this year. So within here, they're allowing you to create virtual machines. So you can add a device here and you can decide the device type. Today it supports Windows 10 and Windows Server 2019. From there, you can click on add the device and it'll go ahead and start to provision a new virtual machine and provide you administrative credentials so that you can remote into that device as well too. So you want to copy this password and store it somewhere temporarily while you're getting that set up. Under the devices section here, you'll see this in a setting up state. And once that's done, you'll be able to run simulations against it. Here, I like to pivot into the tutorials and simulations section, just simply because they give you a little bit more of a description that in that other page, which just really tells you the title and doesn't really tell you more about what you're actually going to be running. So as you can see here, they have plenty of simulations that you can use to choose from. And again, they mimic common techniques used like the solar winds attack, for instance. And if you click on run here, you're able to select the device that you want to use. When that be in provisions, it will be available here. So just note that there's a lot here and there's also tutorials, which I recommend as well too, which gives you more of a file that you can walk through step by step. And this is giving you a better way to mimic some things that you'll do in the admin center, but also seeing the activity on the device itself. So you get a better idea of what's going on and how they're triaging events into this admin portal. Back into the evaluation lab here, you can then also run reports and simulations directly from this particular section. But once that starts getting kicked off here, you'll be able to see this device in the device inventory section. And this is the device I've previously run one of those simulations on. So I can click into it here and I can see more information about the alerts that are growing on that device and its exposure level and its risk level as well too. We have discovered vulnerabilities, if there is any on that device, missing KBs, if there's any on that device, and loaded security recommendation as well based off of the software, the OS, and things of that nature. So clicking into the alert section here, I can see all the alerts associated to this device, and this is all coming from the simulation. And it's triaging these events here, so you can see all of them in the timeline view. Whenever I go under the incidents and alerts section here, this is where they've correlated all those alerts and bundled them up into a holistic incident for the simulation. And I can click into this here and I can see the incident details and I can see the scope of that as well too from the impacted assets. And this is giving me the event timeline and, and showing me that the malware was prevented and really going through the attack chain here across all of the incidents that occurred. And it can show me the automated investigations that it did as well too. And it auto remediated this malware on that device in particular. But then I can also see all of the evidence and everything that was on that device that led up to this particular event, as well as a graphical view of when this occurred. And I can play the attack story here to see exactly where things were happening on that device. And it'll walk me through the entire scenario here, which is really cool. So that's everything I wanted to showcase for you guys today in this video on the evaluation lab and simulations with Defender for Endpoint. Stay tuned for my next lesson. We'll be popping into and discovering more about the cloud app security solution for Microsoft Defender. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.